right? So somebody made y'all cry. Y'all mad. Somebody y'all hurting. That's not mad. That's hurt. All right. Someone had options. And someone walked away. Someone was juggling with the two of uh, pentacles here. For Taurus, someone rising to Venus. Regarding love. For Taurus, someone rising to Venus. Let's shake these cards up. For Taurus, same card just came back out. That's meant to stay out. Messages coming in from somebody. Taurus, someone rising to Venus. Someone got y'all up crying and shit outside with the pillow. Ooh, child. Ooh, and she really outside. Can y'all see with this card? She, the bed, the little shadow around her is like a bed. Is a shape of a bed. I just noticed that in this reading here. She's outside crying. Aww. And the Ten of Swords. Someone standing here like someone walking away like mother. <laughs> someone stabbed you in the back, Taurus. Yeah, you, you feel like someone betrayed you. But that's the Libra Aquarius Gemini, man. Taurus, someone rising to Venus. Taurus, you got a lot to say. Nine of Cups. Nine, nine, three nines. I think in your last reading, you had three nines or was it Sagittarius? Look that number up. Three nines. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I know you guys are like, y'all, you looked that up. That's probably for you. Here's the uh, Ace of Swords. Someone being their head. All right. So the same as this message, the Nine of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is someone feeling deep pain. It's like a cycle with the stairs going in her head. Over and over, rethinking things. Can't get it out your mind. What's the future for Taurus spirit? Can we get some future messages? Future messages for a lovely Taurus regarding love. I just saw a 333. Taurus, someone rising to Venus. Wow, Taurus, these cards really came out. All right. You're waiting for something, Sagittarius, a family coming together. And someone's rejecting a cup of love. All right. What's the future messages for a uh, Taurus spirit? Sun, moon, rising, a Venus. Future messages for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, a Venus. It's regarding family and a death card. And an ending tower moment. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, a Venus. Any final messages for Taurus? Whoa, Taurus. You said, I don't like those three cards. Put those three back. Give me three, four more here. All right. Same, same shit. Ain't nothing good here. So you do have the Eight of Swords, the Hermit. The same as the Family card, which I was going to pull. It was the ending, the Tower moment. And the 1111 is a Hermit, a Marriage. 1111 is a Marriage, too. So it's almost the same. And you have the four cups again. So someone's rejecting this cup again. Came right back out, Taurus. And someone healing. Your last... I think uh, Gemini received this healing card. Resting and healing. Let's verify now, Taurus. Find out why you and this nine of wands energy feeling defensive and shit. What you mad at? <laughs> why are you mad, Taurus? Nine of wands for Taurus. Why is this nine of wands here for Taurus regarding love? Six of Cups, someone you're in a relationship with. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Or someone you know for a while. Who have you outside your head depressed and angry? Not angry, sad. I keep saying angry. I'm sorry, Taurus. Um, why is the Nine of Swords here for a Taurus? You're sad. You're not angry. You're hurting. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Taurus? All right. So you got the uh, King of Wands. All right, that's Aries Leo Sag, someone with a loud mouth. Someone, did some did an Aries Leo curse you out or, or a Libra Aquarius Gemini? Who is the King of Wands here for Taurus? Whoa. Aries. So Aries did it. You're dealing with the loud mouth Aries. Why is the two of, uh, shit. When I said that, another Aries card came out. And the uh, Emperor, Aries, Aries. <laughs> Aries, Aries. All right, I'm telling y'all, y'all might be dealing with the Aries. Why is the two of pentacles here for um, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? 
someone's juggling. Why is the two of pentacles here? Whoa, Taurus, shoot. Five of pentacles, someone being left out in the cold. All right, so let's reshuffle. Why is the two of pentacles here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, that's one card, the Hermit. Someone is coming out of being depressed. Someone was juggling an idea of just not dealing with society. Someone was thinking about just closing themselves out from the world because it's just coming too much. But you have messages coming in. Someone wants to contact you. Aries Leo says they probably want to apologize for the words that they say. These are verbal words someone said to you that hurt your feelings. Why is the Eight of Wands here for uh, Taurus spirit? Summon Rising of Venus. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Taurus? Summon Rising of Venus regarding love. Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio having options. So a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag want to come in and apologize. Why is the Ten of Wands, Ten of, ten of uh, Swords here? Why is someone stabbing you in the back? Because someone had options. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone didn't want to share finances and money. And that's you. Queen of Pentacles. So someone is going to stab you in the back. It could be involved in money. Or someone was taking your money drinking too much. or You know, because the Nine of Cups is about having codependent on drinking alcoholism. Or recreational drugs. And you were like holding on to your money like, nah, why are you spending my money? You fucking like hurting me. You you keeping me. And this is probably why you outside crying and shit like that. Why is the nine of cups here for Taurus? Someone has it in Venus. Why is the nine of cups? And I don't want to hear, oh, it doesn't resonate. It takes up to three weeks. Or if it's not, if it's not resonating, it's not your story. So someone is angry. I think Gemini, not Gemini, um... Aquarius got this reading where someone was feeling like they want to hurt somebody. It comes with hidden secrets with the Pisces and a Cancer. And you have the magician and another Pisces. All right. So you feel like you want to like somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you want to curse somebody to fuck out for real. You're like, I'm about to curse them out. So that's either Pisces or Cancer or Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Why is the Ace of Swords here for um, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Um, somebody's in their head, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, about money. This is you, Taurus. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So you're building your money. You're in your head trying to think about how can you be successful with this idiot who's taking your fucking money and, and drinking or doing whatever else they're doing with it. Let's see. Why is the King of Wands here? This is Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Why is the King of Wands here for Taurus reversed? Why is the King of Wands reversed for Taurus? Whoa. All right, so someone loud mouth. That's the Aries again. That's somebody who's like, yeah, I got this, I got that, yeah, I got. Somebody loud, you got all these Aries. The Aries here too. All right, so the hair front is somebody's marriage. Someone is a marriage. All right, so you might be dealing with someone who's married or high authority type person. Why is the Hierophant here for a uh, Taurus spirit? Why is the Hierophant here? What's the message regarding love? Why is the Hierophant here? Actually, this card is retired. All the, the whole deck came out, you guys. I can't believe it. Taurus, your energy is all over the place for real. Let's get this other deck here. Um, The Hierophant for Taurus. You guys are past your time now. The Hierophant for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Hierophant here for Taurus? What's the message for Taurus spirit? Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here regarding love? It's about money again. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So you're thinking about money that's in a relationship that you're in. It could be... It don't have to be marriage. Everybody's not married, but it could be somebody you're in a relationship with a long time. Why do you have the Eight of Swords here? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, feeling bound. Well, wow. when I said that, you seen that? You feeling tied down by a Cancer and an Aquarius. All right? This is Aquarius energy too, all the way. Or Cancer, or is, is involved in traveling. It's saying don't travel. Heal. Right? Remain still. 
So if you're thinking about traveling, don't. Or you might be dealing with someone who wants a second chance to reconcile a relationship with you, Taurus. You might be dealing with the Cancer or Aquarius, Jupiter, Gemini. Why is the Page of Swords here? Someone stalking you and shit like that? Or you stalking someone? Why is the Page of Swords here for a, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Who is the Page of Swords? Who's the Page of Swords? Ooh, the High Priestess. Shit. All right, so you got um Pisces. So are you stalking a Pisces or is a Pisces stalking you, Taurus? You feeling like uh, a Pisces or a Libra Curious Gemini who's stalking you. And the Pisces is saying to listen to your intuition regarding this relationship. So if it's telling you because the Eight of Pentacles here, again, about money. If it's involved in a relationship... And the money is an issue. The spirit is saying to listen to your intuition, Taurus. Messages for Taurus. Some healing messages for Taurus. Some moon rising and Venus. Healing messages for Taurus. Healing messages for Taurus. Some moon rising and Venus. What's the healing messages for Taurus? Healing messages for Taurus. All right. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. See, that's why I said keep on to your money. Psalms 145-16. Namaste, Taurus. Psalms 145-16. 